Hey guys, let's take a look at uh, three statements of equality. Before we do these, let's go back and think about, forget this right now, um, let's think about how we did, we solved systems of three equations within x, y, and z. We can do that, correct? Remember how to do those, okay? Also, let's put that together with the idea that we can solve problems that have, you know, nickels and dimes and things like that. We know how to handle those, right? We put 10 times the D, one or one times the P for penny, five, for nickel, you know, 25 for quarter and so on. All we do is we just put those all together and we figure that out. Since we have, you can go ahead and start looking at this thing. Uh, we have nickels, dimes, and quarters, which means we have three things, which means we're gonna have to come up with three equations. So out of those two sentences, we need three equations and they need to have nickels, dimes, and quarters and so on. We'll just take what we have, we'll write exactly what we have. So let's go ahead and look at this. There were 26 nickels, dimes, and quarters. Stop right there. You tell me, how do you write that equation? There were 26 nickel, uh, nickels, dimes, and quarters. Nickels plus dimes plus quarters is 26. And in your book, they might have n sub n, n sub d, n sub q. That's all fine too as well. Okay, their value was $2.25. Well, we're going to write what times nickels? 5 times nickels plus 10 times dimes plus... 25 times quarters equals 225, okay? How many of each type, blah, blah, blah. There were 10 times as many nickels as quarters. So the number of nickels is 10 times uh, the number of quarters. Okay, and there we go. All right, so we can just solve now. So n is equal to 10 times q. Well, we can just stick that in here now. So we can go ahead and rewrite this equation n is equal to 10, 10 q uh, right here and 10 q plus 1 q is 11 q plus d is equal to 26 all right and if n is equal to 10 times q then there it is right here so we have 5 times 10 times q which is 50 q and we're going to add oops that's going to be 50 q plus 25 q so we'll go ahead and put 75Q right there. And then we have plus 10D, that equals 225. Easiest way probably to do this is just multiply everything by 10. So 10 here, 11 times 10, and 20, uh, 26 times 10, right? And we'll just subtract that. So 110 minus 75 is 35 times Q. Those go away, of course. 260 uh, minus 225 is 35. Well, I'll be jiggered. And there is one quarter. Now it becomes really easy, right? So we have 10 times as many nickels as quarters. So a nickel is 10 times the Q. So we have nickel is 10. And the number of dimes, therefore, must be, since there are 26 total, we have 11 here, so the dimes must be 15. Let's just check this to make sure. We got one quarter, that's 25 cents, okay? We got 10 uh, nickels, that's 50 cents, okay? We got 15 dimes, that's $1.50. Well, you can do this. 50 and 50, that gives you $2, plus 25, 225, there it is, okay? All you need to do is come up with those three equations, which were, you know, relatively straightforward in that, in that uh, paragraph there. Okay, let's go to the other type. Just another type, it's the same exact thing we need to do. Uh, you know, we just, just not nickels or dimes, it's just, straight up different amounts of certain things. So the total number of blues, greens, and yellows was seven. Well, that's an easy equation. Blues plus greens plus yellows is seven. The blues weighed one each, the greens four, and the yellows five. The total weight was 25. Well, that's an easy one. So the same thing as in nickels, dimes, and all that jazz. So blues are one, so we still have a blues one. The greens are four plus four times the greens, and the yellows are five, five times the yellows, and that equals 25, okay? <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, if there was one more yellow than green, okay, so the number of yellows is the same number as the number of greens plus one. How many of each color were there? Piece of cake, right? Okay, um, let's do it. So we have y is equal to g plus one. Well, let's just put g plus 1 right there. So we'll write a new equation. Y, excuse me, b plus g plus g plus 1 is 7. 
All right, so let's go ahead and figure that out. So we have uh, b plus 2g, <coughs> and I'll just put the plus 1 over here, so that equals 6. All right, so there's one good equation. And then we'll do the second one, and let's put the y there. So y is equal to g plus 1. I'll do this down here using this equation. b plus 4g plus 5 times g plus 1 equals 25. So b plus 4g plus 5g plus 5 equals 25. Well, that's going to be 20 over there because we're moving the 5 over. So we have a b plus 9g. There's another one. So we have b plus 9g equals 20. Okay. Now I can use these equations. We have two we can subtract. Piece of cake here. 2g minus 9g is negative 7g. 6 minus 20 is negative 14. So g will be 2. There are two greens. Okay. Well, if y is equal to green or 2 plus 1, that means our y is equal to 3. And if that is true, then there's the seven of them all together. So 2 plus 3 is 5. So the blues are going to have to be also 2. We can check this just to make sure. Okay. The blues weighed 1 pound each. So the total weight is 2 times 1 or 2. The uh, greens are 4 each. That's 2 times 4. That's going to be 8. The yellows weighed 5 pounds each. So there are 3 of those. So that's going to be 15. Well, two plus five, uh, 8 plus 15 is, of course, 25. There you go. Total weight is 25. Okay. And that's how you do those. All right. Try the practice problem and, uh, you know, pause it, and then we'll come up with it in a second. Okay. There were 35 nickels, dimes, and quarters. Stop. There's an easy equation. Nickels plus dimes plus quarters equals 35. Got it. Their value was $5. In other words, 500 cents. So 5 times the nickels plus 10 times the dimes plus 25 times the quarters is 500 cents. Uh, there were 2 times as many quarters as nickels, so the number of quarters is 2 times the number of nickels. So there we go. So let's go ahead and put 2n here. So let's, we can do this mentally here. So if q is 2n, then we have the 2n plus 1n that gives us 3n plus the d gives us 35. Okay, on this one, 25 times Q will be the same thing as 25 times 2N. That'll give us 50N plus 5N is 55N plus 10D is equal to 500. Okay, all right, let's get rid of the D, probably the easiest thing to do. So we'll multiply everything by 10 here. So we'll call that 30N plus 10D equals 350. And we'll subtract. Those, of course, go away. 30 minus 55 is negative 25n. 350 minus 500 is negative 150. And 25 goes into 150 six times. And there we go. So we have six nickels. All right. Let's just stick this over to the side. Six nickels is how much money? How many cents? Okay, 30 cents. We'll keep it over there. All right. We'll go nickels there. Okay, and then dimes here. And then quarters, just real quick to check our answer. Okay, well, if there are if quarters are two times as many as nickels, then we have uh, 12 quarters, right? Two times as many. So 12 times 25, if you have 12 quarters, how much money do you have? $3, right? 300 cents. Okay, and n plus d plus q is 35. Well, we have n was 6, uh, q is 12, so that's 18, plus d is 35. So the d is going to be 35 minus 18, and that's going to be 17 dimes. Well, that's your answer. So let's check it out. 17 dimes, obviously, is 170 cents. So 30 plus 170, of course, is 200 cents, plus 300 is $5. We just proved we were right. Okay. All right. See you guys next time.